my boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today what I do have in it is Cloudpunk, a game developed by Ironlands, a developer that I didn't know before, and this game it is using Unity technology, and it is a quite demanding game. So I did request a key, a key for this game because I was very curious to see what was this game about, and I want to say personally thank you to Ironlands for providing me the key. So yes, I get this game just because the developers really sent me out the key, so big props for them, thank you a lot, I'm loving it. As for the performance of the game, on the MX-130 or the GT-940MX, this is the disappointing part. I'm playing with 720p because it's the only resolution that fulfills the entire screen, but if you want to play with other resolutions, you will get a black bar on the sides, but it will be perfectly playable above 30 frames per second, for example with 800 per 600. But although, I guess most of the people will just play at 720p, which fulfills the entire screen, and unfortunately the sad part is that this game doesn't offer any other options aside from the window type, if you want uh, windows or just full screen, which in this game it is actually borderless. There is also a V-Sync option and that's about it for now. I do hope that these guys find ways to, you know, add graphical options to the game so it can be less demanding. Because for now, 720p, the performance that you can expect, it is pretty much between the 20 to 25 frames per second. There are less demanding areas where you can expect 25 to 30 or sometimes even slightly above the 30 for a slight moment. But most of the experience with the game will be pretty much between the 20 to 25 frames per second. I know that this will divide a lot of people, a lot of people will say that this is unplayable, other people will say that this is playable, and that's the reason why I didn't actually got any the requirements and the results without recording like I usually do, because there is no reason for that. The performance will be just that. All right, it isn't going to change uh, for now unless an update optimizes the game or adds further options for us to downgrade the game. And that's that's quite unfortunate because yeah, it is actually very demanding. As for the game itself, like I was telling you, this is going to divide a lot of people because this game it is pretty much a walking simulator, but you get the city, you get your car, and you can get out of the car in specific areas. Uh, where you can travel, collect stuff, talk with other people on the city, and that's about it. Because this is a storytelling game, and most of the story will be made throughout um, the, radio the radio contact inside your car with Cloudpunk boss uh, control, and some artificial intelligence elements which I can't really spoil you about. You will also get an house which you can upgrade and you can also upgrade your car with the money that you make. And the money that you make in this game it is just pretty much doing jobs. And the jobs in this game is just going from point A to B, alright? This is doesn't really have an endless mode or anything like it. Most of the, the jobs that you get to do, it, it has a story behind it, so, you know, everything it is... Kind of scripted, let's say this way. You can take the path that you want, alright? And the city is big and you can go from point A to point B from whatever the path that you want. And if you want to explore the city, instead of delivering the package, it is entirely up to you. But what I mean is the jobs are scripted, which, which means that if you are going to start the game again, you will get the exact same jobs, alright? You are not going to get anything different, there is no randomization into the game, this, because this is a story-driven game, and there are packages where you need to make decisions if you want to deliver them, deliver them or not, because there will be consequences if you deliver those packages, or consequences if you are not going to deliver it. So, yeah, most of the story, it is what really holds the game together and the city. And, I mean, this game it is quite demanding because I believe it is demanding with voxels. So everything are just little squares, a little bit like Minecraft, but with insane graphics. And, yes, I'm not saying Minecraft with the ray tracing upgrade, alright? <laughs> the regular Minecraft, but... It looks amazing and everything feels so alive in this city, the spaces where you travel on the car feels alive, the traffic it is amazing, but there are also a lot of, tra a lot of uh, you know, persons inside the city when you travel on foot. The bad part about the game, for me really, it is just the, co the collectibles, it seems like they are just there to try to 
you know, to lose time inside the game, because there are some collectibles which unlock parts of the city, or small parts of the city, of the city which uh, gets you access to other NPCs which you can talk to and get some extra information about the story in the city, but apart from that, there isn't too much, you know, too much stuff that you can collect and make the difference for the game. I know, I think for me the best part it is really the storytelling, uh, I think it's it's a chilly story, it is a good game to play at night uh, at a chilly environment with a glass sort of offline or something at the, the side of you or doing something chilly, so it's very good honestly. And the the soundtrack it is really amazing, there is this retro wave behind it, I think it's really good in my opinion. Uh, the voice acting is, well, a little bit so-so. I don't like too much the voice acting of the main character. I like the voice, the voice acting of the control, for example. But the voice acting of your main character, it doesn't feel right. It really feels like she's reading. But apart from that, I think after some time you kind of get used to it. It is Rainier. But that's about it about the game. So guys, if you want to actually buy the game, you can buy it through Steam. At the moment, it is costing 17 euros at the moment of the release of this game. But uh, after the sale it is finished, you can get the game for 20 euros. All right. So I think that's all that I want to talk about Cloudpunk. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Oh my God. This will right here, Mr. Carva. But please, I'm sure they saved their whole life to give. Sure, here you go. It's just an expression. Just think, I can finally get the eye surgery I need.